So I'm Tarek Enver. I'm Professor of Stem Cell Biology at UCL and I'm also Director of the UCL Cancer Institute. I get funding from children with cancer to explore the mechanisms that lead to childhood acute lymphoblastic leukaemia, which still is the most common cancer of childhood. We're trying to identify the cell or cells in which leukaemia originates in children. We hypothesize, and indeed have evidence, that leukemia in children sometimes initiates in utero, i.e. when the child is developing in the mother's womb. We think that there are particular kinds of stem or progenitor cells that exist in that period of a child's development that are particularly vulnerable to the genetic changes which produce leukemia in children. So we're using embryonic stem cells primarily to try to model or generate those kind of cells in vitro so we can ask how the mutations that impact those cells work functionally and mechanistically and in so doing hopefully are able to identify vulnerabilities within those cells which we could target to ultimately eradicate them and hopefully prevent or at least ameliorate the impact of leukemia in children. So our short-term goals are really to understand how the mutations we see in children's cancer impact what we think of the target cells. So that sort of relationship between a gene and a cell and how that actually sends a cell's sort of programming awry. So I think that will be the, the immediate impact. The longer term impact will be, if we understand that mechanism, can we develop drugs or other kinds of therapeutics which will interfere with that, yeah? so that we can then kill those cells in an effective way. One thought that we have is that actually because those cells which are targeted in childhood leukemia may be unique to early childhood development and not present when a child um, is, for example, uh, post-birth. Um, it may be possible to actually specifically kill those cells with less damage to the rest of the child's body. So really the hope is to develop something rather more specific and less toxic, which is one of really the key challenges in the treatment of childhood leukemia. So we're funded um, by children with cancer. That's been extraordinarily helpful to us. It's helped us actually over the years to build up specific infrastructure and to support the projects we have specifically in childhood leukemia, both in the lymphoid version of it as well as the myeloid version of it.